Bonjour, moi c'est Gwenga et je suis prof de français ici au Nigeria. Hello, my name is Gwenga and I'm a French educator in Nigeria. Currently, I'm working on a documentary that promotes the French language and culture in Nigeria. And um, I found something fascinating in Ibadan or just it, that I would like to share with you. in Nigeria that we enrolled them in all of and the rest is history and we made friends with that guy and there is another person in our workplace in Geneva that really took interest in Atilola I mean our son the way he spoke his French it was so the, the guy was so excited that wow if an, an infant I mean a young child can speak French like this even some French infants cannot speak the the way he speaks the French. So that was one testimony. Then there is another one, a friend of mine. So the guy got an appointment, a political appointment, and now sharing the joy 
with a friend of mine but he now uh tested it in french so my friend now told him that me i cannot speak uh, french or what is this that don't worry go and look for somebody that will translate for you he now brought the, the something and my guy my boy translated everything and that guy is ready to meet my my boy now there is a process where they will meet each other and there is another friend of mine that wants him to come to french for his holiday simply because he knows how to speak french very well and to god be the glory this recent uh, french certification exam that they did at alliance france delft he got 91 percent so that shows me that okay it's not a mistake choosing uh franco-african and ruling them in franco-africa and the sister is speaking up too doing very well so so i'm happy i'm here and est-ce que tu es francophone uh, tu viens de tu viens d'où je viens de nigeria ah bon tu es nigérian oui et tu parles français oui où est-ce que tu as étudié tu as appris le français au fra au, au franco-african international dans cette école Oui. Alors tu as commencé tes études dans cette école Oui, j'ai commencé ça dans cette école. Et toi, tu as commencé tes études ici Oui. Génial. Alors génial. tu peux parler anglais Oui, et aussi français. Oh, tu parles anglais, français. Tu parles combien de langues mm, Je parle deux langues. Mm -hmm. Lesquelles Anglais et français, toutes les deux. Okay. All right, let's speak English now. So, why do you like French language so i like french language because of it and it's really interesting um, language and i want to impress my mom and dad and i want to go to other countries to speak french oh that's beautiful and you why do you like french because of when you go to other countries you can have opportunity of speaking with other people we don't really speak english so you can go to any country of our, of our own okay d'accord uh d'habitude qu'est ce que tu fais le weekend mm. Le week-end, je aide ma maman avec son travail. Je fais les, je le, fais les cours de la maison. Um, et aussi, je parle français avec ma maman et ma sœur. Euh, D'accord. Euh, ta sœur parle français aussi? Oui, elle parle français. Elle, elle étudie la même école de, que moi, Franco. Oh, ici. Elle a appris le français ici, oui. dans cette école? Oui. C'est génial. Et toi, tu as des frères, tu as des soeurs? Oui, il y a une frère. Ah bon? Et il est ici? Oui. Et tu parles français avec lui? Oui. Ah, et tes parents, ils parlent français aussi? Non. Alors comment tu pratiques le français à la maison? Je pratique le français avec mon, mon frère. Alors, mais je ne sais pas pour vous, mais pour moi, en tant que Nigérian, ça me fait vraiment plaisir. Je suis fier de voir les Nigérians qui parlent déjà français à cette partie. En fait, c'est vraiment formidable. Hein? Ça va? Avant de venir à l'école, je lave, je brosse les dents, je porte mon uniforme. Quand je pense que si je suis sain, je prends mon sac à dos, je prends mon petit déjeuner, je salue ma parole et je dis et quoi? Pour l'école, et je dis au revoir, maman, et au revoir, papa. Très bien, applaudissez-vous, chérie Lové. Ça, 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 magnifique. Merci. Parlez fort. On a parti au supermarché, on a acheté des fruits comme la pomme, la banane, les oranges et tout. Quand on a fini, j'ai joué avec mes amis, on a joué de la cache-cache. Et on a... Je suis allée à... 
la maison de moi amie avec ma mère, on a joué aussi là-bas. C'était très intéressant. Alors, pourquoi tu aimes la langue française J'aime la langue française parce que c'est une langue très intéressante et c'est une langue um, facile à apprendre. Et ça peut m'aider dans leur futur pour um, avoir un métier à faire. Et la langue française est une langue qui est um, bien parlée dans le, dans le monde. Et c'est tout. D'accord. Et toi, pourquoi tu aimes la langue française J'aime la langue française, il est intéressant et aussi si quelqu'un partit à si je partis à un pays francophone, je peux communiquer avec les personnes là-bas parce que je connais la langue française. Uh, so why do you like French? I like French because French can be useful to me in the future and it's it's an interesting language to speak and very easy to learn. What you just have to do is like just to learn the how to speak it fluently and Is when you are in the midst of French people, you can be able to communicate well and not be the odd one out. No? Good. And you? Why do you like French? I like French because it's interesting. And if I travel to francophone country, I can communicate with people there because I know French language. Hello, merci beaucoup. Um, d'habitude, qu'est-ce que tu fais le weekend? Qu'est-ce que tu fais le weekend? Je joue le football avec mes copains et mes amis, et je lis. Euh, mais ce n'est pas toutes les fois et je dors et je mange et euh, aussi je lave mes habits que j'ai porté euh, euh, lundi ou vendredi et toi pendant le week-end je joue euh, plusieurs des choses je chante je prie et aussi je lave mes habits que je veux porter le lundi D'accord, merci beaucoup. Tu veux venir? Alors, pourquoi j'aimerais te poser une question? Pourquoi tu aimes la langue française? Alors, tu parles combien de langues? Um, trois. Tu parles trois langues, lesquelles? L'anglais, français et yoruba. Avant, ah bon, tu parles anglais, français et yoruba. Euh, D'accord, pourquoi tu aimes la langue française? Parce que quand j'apprends la langue française, ça doit être simple de trouver un emploi. Ok, pour trouver un emploi dans un pays francophone. Ok. And uh, why do you like French? Can you say that in English? Yes, sir. Because it is going to be easy for me to find a job. It's going to be easy for me to find a job and to pay me a lot of money. Ok, pay you a lot of money. Because even as a Nigerian, If you can speak Awusa fluently, it takes you a very long way. Not to talk of speaking an international language. So that is the catch. That is what brought me to this school about 16 years ago. Uh, tu peux te présenter, mademoiselle? Oui. Je m'appelle Akutine Koufer. J'ai 11 ans. Mon école s'appelle École Internationale Franco-Africaine. D'accord. Et tu parles combien de langues? Trois. Tu parles trois langues, lesquelles? Français, anglais et yoruba. Alors, tu parles français, anglais, yoruba. Euh, pourquoi tu aimes la langue française? Pourquoi tu étudies le français ici? Parce que c'est une très euh, intéressante langue. Et si j'allais à l'autre pays, je peux communiquer avec les personnes. Ok, alors pour communiquer avec d'autres personnes, surtout les aux francophones? Oui. Uh, so, can you tell us in English why you like French? I like French because it's a very interesting language and it's a universal language and if I go to another country, I'll be able to speak French very well. Okay, so as a Nigerian, um, how do you feel being able to speak English and French? I feel very good and very um, brave and very, very, very good. Very good. All right. D'accord. <laughs> Um, there was a day I was, uh, you know, during COVID, um, I was having my usual meetings and usually my meetings would be in French and in English. So there would have to be a translator. I just asked him to join the meeting and to say, join this meeting and you'll be my translator for today. And sufficiently, of course, there were some big words that were sector specific that he couldn't, you know, translate. But by and large, he gave me 70, 80% translation in a high level UN conference meeting. I was really excited. And I said to myself, I got the outcome I was looking for. Uh, 
tu peux te présenter je m'appelle Ebonwa, je suis en école internationale par Kafken, je suis en cinquième et j'aime les bébés. Ok, et toi Je suis en quatrième. Ok, euh, et pourquoi tu décides d'apprendre la langue française Pourquoi tu étudies le français ici Mais Moi, j'étudie le français ici parce que dans le futur, il y a plusieurs des, des opportunités que je peux prendre et maintenant tout le monde mais il y a quelques entreprises que tu dois parler français tu dois être bilingue pour être dans cette entreprise ok et toi quelle est ta motivation d'apprendre le français euh, ma motivation c'est Mr. Wallebanks parce que il a donné moi la chance pour euh, connaître la français parce que dans la future quand je voyage à l'autre pays je peux parler français à l'air I think for me uh, some nine six years ago when I was thinking about sending my son to a school I was particular about the kind of school that I want and the kind of skills I want him to have by a certain age and Franco African gave me that um, those metrics in terms of the quality and the outcome I want my son to have in terms of education by age 10 or by age 11. On. Accident on the water. Good. Have you traveled by sea before? Hello, Farida. You've traveled by sea before. Uh, okay, everyone answer me. Addition means plus. Addition means plus. Okay, show me the sign of plus. The sign of plus. Then I'll show you the sign of plus. Okay, now the next question I want to ask. Bonsoir, Bonsoir tout le monde. Bonsoir, maîtresse. Très bien. Nous commençons notre cours de français. Nous voulons parler aujourd'hui. Tout d'abord, tu vas me donner la date d'aujourd'hui. La date d'aujourd'hui, c'est le mercredi 16 juin 2021. Mercredi le 16 juin 2021. Et puis les animaux aérés. Qu'est-ce que vous avez de li, une idée sur ce qu'on appelle aquatique Qui va me dire c'est quoi aquatique Oui. Quoi les autres animaux aquatiques Poisson. Poisson. Vous êtes d'accord avec elle Poisson. Vous êtes d'accord Oui. Après poisson. Dauphin. Dauphin. Très bien. Oui. Un autre exemple. Oui. Crocodile. Très bien. Dans les animaux. Un animal aérien, c'est un animal qui vit dans l'air. Dans l'air. Qu'est-ce que c'est ça? How do you do? means the other side. It means what? Other. It means what? Other. Beautiful. Now let's see this example. For example, if you're walking down to the school early in the morning and you realize you forgot your mathematics homework and you turn in the other direction to go back and get your mathematics homework. Qu'est-ce que tu peux trouver dans ton école? 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 Qu'est-ce que tu pe
que tu peux trouver dans ton école Il y a les toupies, il y a les toboggans, il y a les salles de classe. Très bien, produisez pour lui. Mon école est jolie et grave. Ok, mon école est. Okay, well, well, probably like I mentioned, Professor Ileru, you know, uh, from you are here, you know something about here. Well, so, so when, when that happened, we felt, okay, let's even take it beyond the country. At least, you know, so what do we do? So we went to Côte d'Ivoire. We, 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 we went to seek for partnership with um, a school called Hima, you know, the big school very big school in, uh, in Côte d'Ivoire. So we asked if we could bring our students in from here to sit for the actual government examination that their own students seek for, assist for yearly. And they agreed that we should do that and we can do that. So we partnered together and the two weeks before the examination, they took our students in to just go there and be part of the school so that they can write the examination. The first day of our arrival like this, once we entered, the student just went on to mix with, with their friends. And start speaking, you, you, you won't even know if those if they are from Nigeria or not. You just think they've been schooling there and just start speaking friendly because one of the key things for for a child to make friendship is language. So the principal of the or the principal of the uh, of the of the Hima school in Cote d'Ivoire lamented. I said, what? Every breath. What is it from, you know, French countries or Anglophone countries? I said, they're from Anglophone countries. What? Nigeria, by the way. So what magic did you do? I said, there's no magic there. We're just doing what we need to do. We're just teaching them and taking the right step that we needed to, to take. He was so shocked. And he said to me, how, how he wished that their own student also could speak English like our students are doing with French and all of that. And so for two weeks they became friends with many and, and so forth, enjoying the atmosphere of Côte d'Ivoire and enjoying everything, you know. Uh, and examination day came, the start of the paper, no single failure. Probably some of us here, or the students here, did far better than some students who are actually even in Côte d'Ivoire. And we have the results. So, we came back home, we felt, could I be the only one? Let's try one more time again. We see care of our student again, we went back for another year again, the same result that we got. No single failure. So, therefore, with that, we know that, yes, you can easily leave this country and go to any Francophone nation to continue your education, 
you just going to just zoom in wherever they start from or where they are easily and that also tells us that what we're doing is the real thing having a child schooling in francophone and anglophone at the same time in nigeria in eight hours like every other mono basic school you know are doing and and having not just french language i have about 12 subjects in french in the school of francophone and 12 or 16 subjects in anglophone school you see what i'm saying now so it's a complete school not just a subject so we say by imagine. À ce point, je vais vous inviter à me donner un exemple de mots qui contient le son en, comme nous avons appris. Et je commence ici par Jemini P. Manger. Manger, très bien. Et Guiwa, vas-y. Rentrer. Rentrer, très bien. On m'a dit si tu vas nous aider. Menti. Menti, très bien. Oh, c'est exceptionnel. You don't know how exciting that is. And for you to be able to give your son or your children or your daughter some level of success these days there are a lot of things they must know uh the literacy skill uh the language skills uh from french to spanish to arabic all right these are global languages that are spoken maybe now german and also Fr uh, um, chinese you know uh, but then speaking french is a big deal uh, because you know when you look at the african continent you have you have so many countries speaking french going outside of that again you have a lot of countries also speaking french uh then if you want your son to be able to play globally then french is a very good language for them to learn all of our students that sat for a1.1 a1 a2 b1 b1 no single failure all of them came out flying colors i know sometimes even for adults to attempt A1.1. Talk lots of A1, A2, B1, and all of, and these are about 10 years old you know, children. Already with your B1 or A1, you can walk in anywhere in the world. You can need that certificate to obtain jobs at their level. That was what the ambassador of France saw the first time we sat in those many years ago. When, when the results came out and the ambassador saw the result from our school and was asking, what school is this in Nigeria? And they told him about us in Ibadan. So he said, well, no, no. Is it true? So he sent the first industry to come. And they came and they interacted with our students and all of that and they went back and told me, yeah, it's true. No. He sent the second industry again and they came. Now the third time he said he himself was coming to see those students, <laughs> all of that. And the ambassador came for visit. For us, having the ambassador here is the height of it. I mean, because they are the originator of the language. They are everything. So if we have him, it's, it was a big thing for us to have him around. And he came in, went to the other classes, interacted with the students, talked with them, chat. I mean, it was a big one. And at the end of it, he came and sat you know, in my office and said, he's asking and is, you know, uh, I mean, uh, uh, when I say advice, you know, the government to give about 20% of the national budget to such a school like this to be established in all the states of the country. So if you have the ambassador of France could validate our work like that. What else, what else are you looking for? How do they practice outside school? Especially uh, knowing that Nigerian is... Uh, so if you're watching, um, you're watching from outside Nigeria, you should know that Nigeria is an English-speaking country. Yes, we have an indigenous languages. When Nigeria, the official language of communication is English language. Now, I would like to ask, sir, uh, how do they practice French at home? Because it seems as if they practice daily because the French is so fluent. So outside school, how do they practice? Oh, I appreciate you for this uh, question. Uh, th this is where we are having a bit challenge. Mm -hmm. When I use the word a bit challenge, like you've observed, like you've seen, they have it, mm -hmm. they speak it. But the challenge is when they go back home, mm -hmm. parents who don't understand this language. Mm. It's difficult to communicate mm. with them. Mm. The children will love to because they have it. It's there, it's mm. bubbling in them. Mm. But when the barrier of, oh, I'm talking, 
the recipient is not getting mm. it, he's not understanding. Mm. So the feedback is not there. So it is like they are being restricted to the school alone. Mm. But once they come to school, their teachers are there, their classmates, their colleagues are mm. there, you see them bubbling in it. Mm. But that's just the challenge we are having. Having being able to communicate with our parents, with our surroundings outside the school. But then it's not uh, a total barrier mm -hmm. because coming here, they get what they need. Mm. And they spend more hours. More hours in here school. than home. Oh, beautiful. More Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Once well, again, I, I just spoke with the head of the Anglophone School. She is the head of the Anglophone School. Like I said, we have two schools in one. Very soon, we're going to speak with the head of the Francophone School. So, thank you very much for your time. It's a pleasure. Thank I you. I appreciate it. Alors comme j'ai dit tout à l'heure, euh, il y a ici à Franco Africa International School, ici il y a deux écoles ici. Alors on a l'école anglophone et l'école francophone. Alors j'ai l'honneur d'avoir ici la directrice de l'école francophone. Elle s'appelle Madame Sandra Trebunal. Bonjour Madame. Bonjour Monsieur. En fait, ça me fait un grand plaisir de vous rencontrer aujourd'hui. Comment vous allez? Je vais bien, merci. Alors ma première question, c'est de savoir en fait. Qu'est-ce qui motive les élèves d'apprendre le français Alors, ce qui motive les élèves d'abord, premièrement, ce sont les enseignants. Mm. Nos enseignants sont les francophones. Mm. Et les enseignants sont là pour motiver les élèves à apprendre le français. Mm. Et deuxièmement, je dirais que nous faisons le rassemblement chaque matin. Mm. Alors, au rassemblement, il y a les thèmes que nous abordons en français. Mm. Et pendant que nous abordons le thème, les élèves sont obligés à participer, à pouvoir réagir par rapport au thème et ça c'est ça qui motive beaucoup plus les élèves aussi. Bonjour Saïda, bonjour Tanto, bonjour ça va, ça va bien merci, bonjour oui. papa, papa va bien, comment va maman, maman va bien, le marché c'est quoi, le marché c'est un bébé qui ne marche pas, on va vendre des marchandises, on marche, on va acheter la pomme, on va vendre la pomme, on va vendre l'orange, on va vendre la télévision, la gomme, on est vainc. Merci beaucoup. Uh, as we all know, French is a major language of international communication. So in our family, we recognize that and we want our children to be exposed to such language. And we also know that French gives more career opportunities and more educational opportunities. So knowing that fully well we decided that our children should learn french but along the line we started scouting looking around for okay which school can really go in line with our own focus and then a friend of us told us about franco african the way they thought they are french that it is 100 percent curriculum in french they're not percent curriculum in english so we said okay this is what we are looking for anyway so we decided to enroll them in the school, right from their infancy anyway, from preschool to pre-nursery, and the rest is history now. Okay. Bonjour, Monsieur G. Bonjour, comment t'appelles-tu? Je m'appelle Tanto. Oh, Tanto, comment ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Alors, dis-moi.
may be wondering why should I learn French as a Nigerian or why should I even encourage my kids to learn French? Perhaps you should know that countries surrounding Nigeria, all countries surrounding Nigeria are French speaking countries. You have Niger, you have, when you go to the north, you have Niger, you have Chad, you have uh, very close to Lagos. In fact, if the roads were good, um, Benin Republic, Kotonou is just less than two hours from Lagos. We have Cameroon and other French speaking countries like that. So to facilitate trade and commerce, it is very important for Nigerians to definitely learn and speak French. Also to take up international jobs. Perhaps you know already that one of the official languages of the United Nations is French. And because of the peculiarity of Nigeria as a country, I think it is high time we started encouraging our kids to become bilingual even from a young age.